Good morning, YouTube. Got me uh, the weekend off. It's Friday, and uh, man, well deserved. Long week of work, but uh, I'm gonna change things up today a bit. Going to not drink iced coffee. Gotta drink some muscle milk. Mmm, it's so creamy and chalky. Alright, uh, I was up a little bit ago and I, I hit the haunted bookshop again. Man, it's, it's perfect. It's not, not too dry. It's not too wet. It just... I don't know. I guess the taste just didn't for me. Uh, it didn't float my boat. So, I'm smoking my uh, Dunny with some St. Bruno. Compliments of Light Your Pipe. He sent that to me. It's pretty good stuff. Alright, so, uh, more than likely tomorrow morning we're gonna film Suicidal Aromatics 2. Blend it, mix it, weigh it, everything. And then, uh, as soon as it's posted, start sending in your addresses, and, uh, it'd be nice if we could get it all printed out and shipped tomorrow. Uh, that way I don't gotta deal with it on Monday, so. <clears throat> Stay tuned for that, and, uh, it's probably gonna be 10 to 20 ounces, so the first, uh, you know, 10 to 20 addresses get it. Uh, uh, well, actually 18 or whatever, because there's a couple of them that are already dedicated to getting it. Pipe and Argentine and uh, a couple other guys. But, uh, something I thought of last night. A lot of guys, uh, sent me messages asking about my bikes and stuff and it never dawned on me that I have never posted the last Triumph that I built. Uh, I think I finished in the end of June, right before it started getting real hot. And uh, yeah, I probably put 2,000 miles on it, just riding around, breaking it in. And I've got it up for sale now. I just built it to sell. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I thought I'd put a video on YouTube, but I guess I just did my rat bike, so. Uh, I'm going to do this uh, for C-Star McPipe. He wanted to, uh, you know, someday get into bikes. So, and he likes Triumph. So, I think this is right up his alley. You can come to Florida anytime soon. You can ride it. But, uh, camera's going to get shaky for a second, but we'll get it back. I've already got it. Where's that Kawasaki? Oh, hold on. Just put some new wheels on my board. Spitfire Big Head 50s. For you that want to know. Alright. Let me get back and get a focus in here. This is it. It's my 1976 Street Tracker. It's, uh, it was originally a board tracker. I had different bars and a gas tank on it, but... It was just too unrideable and uncomfortable. It replicated a 20 style uh, murder bowl death bike. I mean, you guys want to Google that? I used to call the uh, the board track races the murder dome because uh, several people would die every race. <clears throat> All right, so uh, transplant is a 1976 750 five speed transmission. Has been port and polished. Board 30 over. Uh, everything is brand new and fresh. I did everything myself. Inside the ignition cover is a Tri Sparks ignition from Australia. It's the best digital electronic ignition there is. Everything's contained in that cover. My coils right there in the gas underneath the gas tank. And uh, that's it. And I got a voltage regulator, and that's it for electronics. It's a simple five wiring bike. And I've made the uh, number plate brackets. And let's see if I can get up in here. I'll try to go slow. 
Here's some old motocross bars I had. I had like upside down beach cruiser cut and welded bars. 76 representing the year, the uh, motor and most of the components. The uh, frames of 68 that uh, well, somehow got the uh, 76 title uh, identification numbers in it. I don't know how that happened. And 76 is the uh, birth year of uh, my life. So, you know, old Wassell England gas tank from the 60s. It was new old stock. I found it on eBay. Paid like 50 bucks for it. Custom pipes. These are original 1966 Schwinn bicycle pedals. And yeah, for you gangsters out there, they spin. Turpignani voltage regulator. Spitfire 53 millimeter chain roller wheel. There's my Made in India 1938 Triumph replica tail light, which was a piece of shit. I had to rebuild it, resolder everything. It vibrated and fell apart. <clears throat> Little Spitfire sticker. Now this isn't the original head, this is a 73 Tiger head, single carb. Uh, you Triumph gurus out there want to tell me your double carb is going to outrun the single carb, wrong. <clears throat> it's just a waste of gas. I had a 34 mil Makuni on here and it just, it just ate the gas. I mean, it hauled ass, it already hauls ass. It's 330 pounds, that's it. <clears throat> Some may wonder what this is. I uh, designed and made that. It's a uh, stainless steel oil catch can, which is uh, a must if you're racing on the track. It catches the oil, which it doesn't really blow any oil in there. But I had uh, my best friend Larry uh, TIG weld it up for me. He uh, TIG welds so smooth it looks like butter. And then here's my rear brake system. If you noticed, uh, it was a left side shift. That's the uh, first year, uh, 1976, that uh, when they were imported to America, they had to be that that way from the from the government if you wanted to sell it in the U.S. So it's uh, right side brake, but left side drum on the on the rear hub. So I've made a reversed armature linkage. If you see, I've designed all this. And it works. There's a shaft that runs through there on the other side. And it. Let's see if you can see it. And it stops good. And you can see, I named it the Scratchy Turd because I don't really like clean bikes. I just like raw and rugged. A little rat sticker on my battery. That's pretty much the gist of it. I had a lot of. A lot of long fabricated hours in this bike. All right, let's get back on the pipe smoking. Here's my uh, bicycle wreck. I just finished this this past Monday. Got all my bikes, about one up here. There's Debbie's bike, my uh, road bike, cruiser bike, and training endurance bike. I just thought I'd share that with everybody. The uh, Bruno is a little wet. Actually, everything's wet. It's still humid here. Tonight, a cold front comes in. Or actually, tomorrow night, a cold front's coming in. So, tomorrow's. Hell, maybe it's tonight. I think tomorrow's high is 85. Sunday's high is going to be 82. So, winter's here. That's our winter. Uh, I tried getting caught up on some videos last night. I stayed up till about 1 o'clock in the morning watching a bunch of them. I didn't get to watch them all, but I was trying to. Uh, Astro Man 2112, James, my friend from Thailand, 
another wonderful video and uh, something he didn't know about.